So here's how you can turn on, turn off, or navigate around with the talkback feature. Uh, if you're watching this video and maybe you searched for my phone is talking to me, how do you turn it off? This is how you do it. Or if you just want to learn how to turn it on and use it, here's the great video too. So you hit on the menu icon, you head over into settings. Underneath settings, if you have a phone that has the tabs on the top or if you've had it set to where it's just one list, just make sure you scroll all the way down to where it says the accessibility. And once you go on in there, you're going to notice that it says talk back. And so in terms of the talk back feature, it's just a way that it'll actually give you haptic feedback in terms of the keyboard and what you're touching. It creates sounds if you're scrolling up and down. Um, and it's for the vision impaired. So you also have settings on the very bottom that you'd be able to open up where you can um, change different things in terms of using the proximity sensor, you know, shaking it to continuously reading a paragraph. So you went online and you shake your phone, it'll actually start reading the paragraphs for you in the words. Um, here's the vibration feedback, the sound feedback. You can turn these things on and off, things like that. But just so you guys know, there is, um, you know, settings for it, as well as uh, I believe there is a Explore by Touch tutorial. So um, you can probably learn what that is through the tutorial. Uh, so now with me turning it on, it's going to show you all the different things that will be um, associating itself with. So if I hit on the home button here, now the talk back is on. Just to show you guys, number one, and first and foremost, how to navigate around. Uh, if you use one finger, everyday folder. Uh, and you touch on something, that's it's going to read you what you've just touched. Same thing if you try to swipe with one finger, it's just going to end with wherever you were, and it's going to tell you what it is. Two fingers is how you swipe around. So if you want to move around and navigate around, so for example, when you hit on the settings button, you notice that it reads it. You have to tap it twice to actually select. So now that you've tapped it twice, if I want to scroll down here, I can't do it with this one finger. It's just going to read um, what's going on. You want to use two fingers to scroll down. You head into the accessibility by double tapping. And then this is where you can scroll down with two fingers again and turn it off. Now, to show you an example of how it reads the internet and things like that, it's the same thing with text messages. So let's go on the internet real quick. And let's say that you want to, uh, you're a little, you'll have a little bit of vision impaired, or you're busy and you want your phone to read you what's going on with the news. What you'd be able to do is if you go online and you actually touch where you want it to start. So let's say we want to start it with the Tyler Armstrong location right here. Uh, what you want to do is shake the phone and send it. And so now, I was able to touch on one of the articles for it to start, and then I shook the phone, and here we go. It's starting to read everything for you. So, so we won't let it go all the way. So now, all you got to do to turn it off, you're just going to want to, again, go to settings. You want to double tap, and then you head over into where it says the device. Two fingers to scroll down, double tap into the accessibility. And actually, you know what? Let me show you something real quick. Since this is the Note 3, I'm going to show you something with the S Pen. So I'm going to pull out the S Pen. And so this is something that's extremely cool. So you can actually hover the S Pen. It'll actually just show you everything. So if I head back. So all I'm doing is I'm just hovering. So this actually makes it a lot easier if you have the, uh, the S Pen with the Note 3. So instead of you touching the screen once, um, or touching the screen or touching an icon that'll tell you what's going on, you can just hover the S Pen. It'll actually do it for you. Then all you have to do now is just do one one tap. So as you can tell. So if you have the Note 3, I'd probably say that you are very well... I'm going to be pleased with the talkback feature in terms of all the other Android phones out there where you want to touch the screen twice and things like that. But other than that, that is how you use the talkback feature. Hope you guys enjoyed.